What up, hoes? Jake Anarino here again. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm here with my coach, my jiu-jitsu coach, Robin Geisler, my friend. Um, Sorry, I was a little distracted there. That's all right, man. Uh, I'm distracted a lot. We're here at the Helson Gracie Academy of Jiu-Jitsu. This is where we train in Columbus, Ohio. If you're ever in Columbus and you want to train some jiu-jitsu, come train with us. Um, coach, you, you've trained with pretty much all the big names in jiu-jitsu, right? Like, well, you've yeah, trained with uh, Helson Gracie, mm -hmm. is of course your your main coach, your main guy, your yeah. your teacher and your friend. Uh, but you've also, you've trained with Hickson, you've trained with Hoyce. Yeah, I've got a chance to do uh, a number of seminars with, with a lot of those guys, you know? I mean, it's I can't say that I've I trained a, a lot with them, but I've, I've had an opportunity to be around Hickson a decent amount uh, at seminars and you know, I mean, because he's kind of hard to pin down, uh, especially as of late. But you know, Hoyce, uh, especially early on, um, Horian, even um, you know, in later years, you know, Huron and, and Henner as much as I can. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty lucky. I've been able to train with a lot of the a lot of the brothers. Um, uh, man, yeah. And to get a fifth degree black belt, that's really hard to do in within the Gracie family. You yeah, it's easy. <laughs> yeah. How many years did it take? Uh, a little, it's over 20, but you know. Um, and you're on the mat all day, every day. It took 20 years of hard training. Yeah. It wasn't like coming in once a week or something. No, no, yeah. The, 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 the degrees on the black belt really are meant more for, for teaching. You know, that's more of, a, of, a, of an instrument, at least in, in Helsin's, uh, you know. Um, it's still of, impressive. Right? Yeah. You know. No, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I don't want to try to discount it at all because when I started, it, it was it was so strange. When I started, Hoist was a fourth degree black belt. What is he now? Um, Red and black. I don't even know. I actually, he doesn't even wear black belt anymore because his his dad's dead now. And and honestly, I mean, he wasn't gonna. He doesn't want to take promotions from anybody else. So he just he just kind of assumes like he just he wears blue belt now. He wears just like his dad. Just like his dad. Yeah. Oh, he wears wow. the blue belt now. So, I'm gonna start wearing a blue he belt. He still promotes his, his students kidding. to black belt and gives them, you know, degrees. I sure, believe. sure. But they uh, they sort of differentiate themselves. Now, why did they pick a blue belt? Why did why did um, Elio say I'm gonna wear a blue belt? Why did sure. he pick the blue belt? Why not just stay a white belt? Well, back when back when they when they when they first taught up until about I think the 19 I think it was 1963 maybe 67 when they formed the the Federation of Jiu Jitsu. Before that time. It, there was no black belt in Gracie Jiu Jitsu. It was it hmm. was either white belt meant student and blue belt was instructor. They, I see. They had uh, they had a navy blue belt as and that meant you were you were a full instructor and it was very difficult. I mean he had uh, an extremely. I mean Ailey was was very very meticulous and very very uh, very uh, as far as grading the instructor is concerned. I mean he was. It's about as difficult as anybody that lit, but he his, his standards were extremely high. So um, I think maybe only 14 people total, or maybe outside of his own family, actually earned a uh, a diploma from wow. him. Wow! Um, in in his entire 90 some years wow. of living, yeah. But imagine, imagine getting that from Elio himself. That would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Right. I'd yes. love to be one of those 14 dudes. Yeah. Most of those guys are red belts now. But, oh um, wow! But. Um, but yeah, I mean that, that was that was his thing. Is and, and there was a light blue belt, I, th I believe, if, they, if you were like a, a, an instructor in training. But that was the only the only difference. You could be the toughest guy in the room, and you know, and fight, you know, and be the best fighter. But you know, you're a white belt, and the the belt. The only differentiation in the belt was instructor student. No was stripes it? back then or anything like that. Uh, no, no, not that I'm aware. Interesting. No. It was just straight up, boom, this or that, and then yeah. Can you give me a quick tip at my level, three stripe white belt, starting to get, finally after years starting to tap people out, uh, starting to, after years finally just grasp basic fundamental things about Jiu Jitsu. I was in the slow lane, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm a late bloomer. It took me a long time to kind of even get defense. Sure. And, and now I, th I feel I like too. I'm defending myself pretty good now. Yeah. And now I have once a week, I have an offensive coach uh, getting me more offensive minded. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of things, but what would you, if you had one tip to give me today going forward uh, towards my, because I'm heading towards the, the, my fourth stripe, sure. my blue belt, what would your uh, advice be? 
I, I would say just drill a lot, you know, um, a lot of repetitions and, and train as much as you, as much as, you know, time allows you and the physicality allows you. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, just practice, 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 and be as consistent as you can with it. And even on those days where you don't feel like it, kind of trick yourself into doing it because you know each day that you walk out of here, you're going to feel better about yourself. Those are my best days. Yeah, and and I think that's the thing is that some days we feel like, oh, I don't want to train that hard today. Just sometimes you kind of have to push yourself a little bit just to kind of go in and say. It, the days I'm like, I don't want to go. Because and I force myself, I, I, ta I get taps. Good. Yeah, that's crazy. It, and it's the thing is, you know, I've, you'll surprise yourself, especially when you have lower expectations for the day. You're just like, I just want to go in and move. You're like, man, I feel like King Kong today. I do, yeah. yeah. I didn't want to come in today. And some of that is just your perspective. Yeah. Right? And I think um, I think the uh, – I'm glad you did come in today. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to trade with you, but um, – Oh, I trained with everybody else, dude. I got awesome. rolled up. It was fun. It's great. And I'm, I'm glad you got a chance to do that. I, but I think uh, – and that's the, I think that's that's true for, for, for almost any practice. It doesn't have to be jujitsu. It could be anything. Um, it's just, just putting the nose to the grind and, and getting out there and doing it, even on the days where you don't feel like it. Um, it, because everybody, and don't compare yourself too much to your peers, because everybody has different rates of, of improvement. I've seen guys start out very, very slow in the earlier years, and then just get to a certain point, and, and their trajectory was much faster. And I've seen guys that came out of the gates like, you know, then they hit good wrestles, bell. good, good, and then they <laughs> plateau. <laughs> yeah, and I, then they plateau. I believe that. And, and, and I've seen that. So everybody has different rates of progression. Yeah, jujitsu is really fascinating in that yeah. respect, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, I was a lot like you. It, it took me, I think it was like seven months before I tapped anybody. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a, at least I was, was 40 a, when I walked in here, I think. And uh, so my brain isn't as sharp as say we got a little girl here, 15. She soaks things sharp, up and she'll yeah. she'll t kill you yeah. because her, her her brain's like a sponge. It it mm -hmm. just absorbs everything. Yep. And uh, boy, I sure wish I would have had jujitsu at her age. I, that's such a bummer. Yeah, me too. But you know, better late than never. I love jujitsu. I love this school. And I love my coach, Robin Geisler. I love you back. We have a lot of fun here. If you're, in we Columbus. love you. Yeah. In, in <laughs> fact, we want to kiss you on the mouth. Uh, but uh, if you're in Columbus, you want to train, come train with us. We have a great time here. You know, it's a, it's it's fun. Jujitsu is fun. It is.